So welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, block pattern. Right now I have my WordPress 5.32 uh, installed. I have Gutenberg installed as a plugin and it only works all the way to 5.3. So that's where we tap all the new experimental things and maybe in the near future you're watching this and uh, this is part of the WordPress core. So when we go to create a new post, we'll see that we have a small icon here that talks about block patterns and when you click on it, it allows you to choose uh, different items and as you click them, you add them onto your board and you can use them. So if you want, you can actually take out a couple of things, edit them and you'll notice that this block, as I change it, it doesn't affect this other block here, they come from the same pattern. Now this is the biggest difference between the reusable block patterns that you can see how to use in the video that I've linked here and what these block patterns are. So this is the way WordPress is going to start doing things, um, allowing us to experiment with different patterns, people design them, and maybe you can import them. If you've used the, the Elementor plugin, this is what we are talking about. Those small widgets allow you to import data that has already been designed and you just need to edit it. So let's jump into the code to see how we can design our own patterns. I've, I've been looking at this and I found a very wonderful article from uh, a lady called uh, Mel Choice. And you can go to melchoice.design uh, and you'll find an article that she's written and it's called uh, Creating a Simple Block Pattern for Your Plugin, where she writes all the steps of how to do this. So in our plugins here, I have a small uh, plugin that I've created, which I'm going to activate now. And essentially it's just, uh, just having a plugin name, a URI, the author, and all the things that are needed to run a plugin. Why do I use a plugin? Because we're going to be handling data. I don't want to add this content through the functions that PHP of the theme. And at the end of the day, we find that as we change themes, we're going to lose uh, our data or our pattern that we've already created. So I'll prefer to put it in a plugin. So let's jump into the code. So the first thing that I will do is I'm going to add an action. And in this action, I'm going to tap uh, the WordPress init hook. And then I'll write a new function, a new callback, which I'll call a techie press patterns. And then I'll just remove all this other stuff that I don't need. I'm not going to pass any arguments. And then I'll close this off uh, with a semicolon. So what we're going to do is now write our function here, techie press patterns, uh, close it off, and then we'll add our parentheses and our brackets. So I'll add a little space down here to make the code look a little nice. And we have this uh, ready to jump in. So what do we need? In Gutenberg, we have a function that is uh, given to us and it's called a register pattern in singular and we'll terminate off with a semicolon. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to first check if this uh, particular function exists, uh, then we can run it. So I'm going to come here and then uh, look for the function. If function exists, and then we'll of course run our register pattern in there. Close this off and save. So if we have register pattern, we'll run register pattern. Now register pattern requires only two arguments. The first one is the namespace of our pattern. And so I'm going to have this pattern and I'm going to call it a turkey press and then I'll slash it off with the, the, the pattern name. And then what I'm going to do next is that we are required to have an array and this array is going to carry two things only. It will carry a title and it will carry content. So we need to wrap these in a single quotes and then uh, we'll map off with uh, the equal sign and the greater than sign and then we'll add the content in the, the following pieces. So we're going to have our title and we're going to of course translate it. So we're going to have our title first here and then we'll translate it using this string. So the first thing that we add here is our title name. So we'll call this uh, baseline for now and then we'll add our text domain right here at the end. So we'll have our content and then we're going to map onto it with uh, this time with uh, double quotes because we're going to add here an escaped string. Now let's go back to our admin area. We don't have any issues with our plugin so far. So let's go to the post and add new, a recipe kind of pattern. First of all, so I'll add a columns, which are going to be two pieces. In our column here, we shall have a heading, a title, and we shall call it a recipe name. 
and then under that we'll have a picture and we'll load that from our library so lists i'm going to add don't star check well serve to customer and then of course in this other block we'll add a paragraph and i'm just going to copy some text from this article just to make it uh, enjoyable so we'll copy this so we'll copy that and then paste this content here i'll make another paragraph and we'll have that ready so i'm going to just go to our navigator here click the column to see that everything is actually wrapped so we are going to go to our code editor and then we'll just copy all this code and then come to this online tool which is called online string tools.com slash escape dash string and we're going to paste our code there and at the end we'll have an escaped string so we're going to copy this and then we're going to come and paste it inside our content area so we'll save this once this is saved we'll come back and reload our page still uh, in the code editor so we'll come back to the visual editor here and i'm going to choose the patterns icon here and we'll see that as we scroll down we actually have our baseline pattern right here so when i click it we have a new pattern pattern i can add this over and over and over again and so we can write different things so what i'm going to do is just edit a couple of things here and you realize as i edit this part of the pattern these other patterns are not affected in any way now this is the difference that uh, comes with our reusable blocks once you edit a reusable block all across your site where you've applied that reusable block it is going to change however with the patterns it doesn't change at all so we have our pattern and it's here and it's ready and we can use it right now and because it's going to be improved it's going to be made better this is the way wordpress is going to be doing things so we have our pattern it's reusable and we have our code right here and we can do so many other patterns depending on our imagination so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up let me know what you think about patterns uh, are you using them are you sticking to reusable blocks just let me know what you think about them are you trying them out see what other patterns that are available let me know in the comment sections about what you think about all these things so in the next video i'll share with you how to do block patterns without actually writing any code whatsoever so stay tuned to the channel and goodbye